Hi guys, just a little update. Um, the old girl's back up and running after a minor meltdown. Bad transistor, I believe, caused the problem. Um, at the moment, we just run off this little battery here. The generator side of it is charging this battery here. Only 18 milliamps, but it is charging it. Which is a bonus because it doesn't really cost us anything. The machine actually runs better while charging the battery and putting a load on the generator coils, as you would know. Um, at the moment, from work, I've scored these batteries so far, and I am charging this one at the moment. A couple of hours ago, it was at, uh, well, it's probably closer to three hours ago, 11.03 volts. Um, it's now up to 12.22 and our little, you probably can't see that, but our little indicator has gone from black to green so that's probably a good sign. Uh, these are just my big batteries, old ones from work, going to try and rejuvenate for my um, solar setup on the shed. I have done this one a couple of times now. I'm actually draining it back down with this little inverter that was also going to be thrown out, come back as a warranty job. And um, the only thing wrong with it, it had a dry solder joint on the positive input to the machine. So that was going to be a throwaway. It's now running this LED up here which is the light you can see and it's drawing about 260 milliamps at the moment so it's not a fast drain on the battery which is probably the best way to go I've been told of course so scored this little battery as well I'm going to try and bring back to life handy little size to have so um, that's where we're at at the moment I do have a 3 kilowatt inverter coming very shortly so uh, that then will be hooked up to this battery bank on the proviso I can get them all back to life this one here is looking very good at the moment it's holding a solid charge it's been running this light on that inverter for seven hours tank it up first thing this morning uh, it still hasn't cut out on low voltage yet so it's doing well, looks like we've saved that battery so now we're just starting on these ones and this one is looking quite good at the moment uh, we are putting about 500 milliamps out of the um, back EMF side of this machine they are very big coils I'm getting about an hour and a half out of this battery and, um, that was the one I ran it on first. Got down to 11.7 volts, so I put that on the charge side. And now I've been running off of this one. So that's where we're at at the moment. I was going to switch this over to a commutator like TJ Dunn, but I cannot on this system because it needs to fire north and south, not all in the same direction. So um, a bit tricky to do. So we'll leave it at that, it's working alright. I may make a, uh, another little motor up with a commutator set up and um, charge another battery off of that. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'll do. Okay, till next time, cheers from the Tin Man.